All right, well, creating the perfect holiday gift greeting card can be a real joy, but also a real stress for families each season. So local photographer Kenny Kim is here to show us how to make those greeting cards just picture perfect. And you've brought a lot of stuff with you today here, Kenny. But a lot of people, for, for a lot of people, this weekend is kind of the time to do it because you got to send them out soon. Right. So let's start first with, in terms of planning, what do you put on your holiday greeting card? Should people stick with those Christmas themes or is it okay to kind of go with the regular kind of outfit? Well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show, uh, sure. Marissa. Uh, I think, you know, one of the first uh, tips I'd like to give to people is that, you know, when, when you're planning your holiday card, you got to keep it simple. You know, oh. I think sometimes people tend to want to go all out with their photos and things like that. But rather than doing that, I think it's just to keep your you know, background simple, you know, have kids be in a natural, you know, comfortable position so that they'll smile and they'll be comfortable. And you were saying too, keep it simple when it comes to posing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, posing like that, you know, again, you don't want to put them in any like awkward poses or things like that. You know, have them sit, have them, you know, stand next to each other, have them be smiling. And, you know, again, you know, like make them feel comfortable and be natural as possible so that when families are together, they're, you know, hold, holding each other. Sure. Touching each other. And I think we have some graphics to show here and I want to make sure we get to these just because when you're saying keep it simple, I mean, mm -hmm. this guy's kind of just standing behind her but they look really comfortable yeah I mean again the whole idea is that you, know, you, you can do something different as well at the same time while the the wife is sitting down sure. the husband is standing up and they have a cute little you know pug the puppy and you got three kid, family kids the kid doesn't want to you know move around too much so sure. you just pick them up and you know, smile at each other sure and then in this one too I love the action shots where it's not so posed sometimes because that's really kind of the candid moment there exactly and sometimes you get lucky in the midst of you know uh, posing for those kind of shots, you get you, know, you get those fun moments where they're just having a great time, and those and, are the ones that you kind of relate to. And I think sometimes people, and just on this this graphic right here, some people underestimate the importance of shooting inside their own home because that's mm -hmm. where people that's where people live. So, what do you do a lot of those shoots, and do you suggest people doing that? I do a lot of on location shoots. I think because again, that's where the subjects feel most comfortable. Sure. And you know, you just want to capture them in their natural environment, and those are the ones that you people relate to a lot more. So, in terms of backdrops, though, what mm -hmm. do you suggest for people? I, I had a friend call yesterday and say, I don't know the city of Chicago very well. Where's a good backdrop for a Christmas photo? And I think a lot of people are probably thinking that right now. It's funny because, yeah, people go all out trying to find those iconic locations. But I found that, you know, just you're just a simple place around your neighborhood, a simple Christmas tree or anything, you know, just uh, that's around you. A good example is, you know, Carrier Wood. Uh, we just spent like a whole afternoon going around Chicago trying to, you know, capture different uh, you know, backgrounds. And what sure. we ended up doing was we just went and stood in front of their house and on their street and we captured a perfect moment. And real quick before we go, because I do want to get this tip in, you sure. said in terms of posing, if you're taking photos of your kids, what to do with the toy on the camera? So I brought this little toy with me and you can use anything pretty much, but all you have to do is just, you know, place it on top of your camera and try to get their attention that way. Instead of, you know, calling, having one of their relatives call out their names, I sure. think it's, uh, that's the best way to do it because then they'll look at the camera yeah. And, you know, they don't know what the camera is, but they'll at least look at it and you'll get them looking at the camera the photo. Well, great tips, Kenny. We appreciate mm -hmm. you being here today. And we will, of course, have all of the tips that Kenny just mentioned on our website, cbschicago.com. We'll